$13,600 per violation. That's how much employers with at least 100 workers will face when the vaccine work requirement is in effect. Last week, President Biden directed OSHA to add the rule requiring those larger employers to mandate vaccines or weekly COVID-19 testing. Now, Knox County Mayor Glenn Jacobs, who oversees 2,700 county workers, sent a letter to the White House today saying he would not comply. Reporter Blake Stevens joins us now in the studio. So, Blake, the mayor's letter claims the new rules violate the Constitution. Yeah, that's right. The mayor feels decisions this big should be left to Congress. He also feels this violates the right of individual states to make their own health regulations. Constitutional law professor Stuart Harris says the rule is clearly constitutional. Now, both of them predict legal challenges ahead. Knox County will not comply. That's the gist of Mayor Glenn Jacobs' letter to the White House. Anything that we do that could further inhibit a company's ability to attract quality workers uh, is a bad move, uh, especially at this point. Jacobs argues the change is unconstitutional, but LMU Law Professor Stuart Harris says it's clearly constitutional. He says Congress gave OSHA the power to regulate workplace health and safety. When Biden says to the OSHA administrator, okay, use this delegated congressional power and do this and this, well, by and large, they can do it. The mayor believes these changes are meant to be made by the state. We'll see what happens with the court cases, and then we'll see what happens with what the state does. But Knox County will not comply to the extent that my authority allows me to. Harris noted similar rules have been set by the federal government before. Given the urgency of the situation, the fact that we're in a public health crisis, the fact that people are dying every day, um, I doubt courts would halt it. They will consider it, and I think ultimately they will uphold it. Well, Harris believes this will hold up because similar OSHA regulations have survived in the past. He cited safety equipment for coal miners on the job as an example. But because the vaccine rule will also allow workers to take weekly COVID-19 testing, he thinks it will be less challengeable in court, Bo. All right, Blake, thank you. And the discussion we should point out here on President Biden's mandate continues Sunday at 1230 on Tennessee This Week.